Yet again, the Bible talks about how the rich see their wealth as a fortified city, and a wall they imagine that as an unscalable wall. And then yet again, <clears throat> the Bible says they imagine it as an unscalable wall. The rich imagine it as an unscalable wall. And then you read, a wise man scales the city of the mighty and brings down the stronghold in which they trust. <laughs> well, let's just, a wise man scales the city of the rich and brings down the stronghold in which they trust. The Bible talks about in Ecclesiastes. We're going to move to Ecclesiastes next. And that's where some of the things is, you know, it goes into even more detail. But rich people, if you were, and I'm not certain of this, and Jesus Christ has kind of left me in the dark. But the Bible seems to talk as if wealth is, it, it seems to kind of talk about wealth in a positive light and riches in a negative light. As if they're two separate concepts. As if, as if wealth in the biblical definition means one thing, while riches mean another thing. And the Bible also talks about riches are fleeting. With the blink of an eye, they can fly off. Money can't save your soul. But yet again, he would, do not rob the poor because he is poor or crush the afflicted at the gate. For the Lord will plead their cause and rob those who rob them. Do not rob the poor because he is poor or crush the afflicted at the gate. For the Lord will plead their cause and rob those who rob them. 